Hi, I'm Doug Gorlai, bringing you today Data Center 3.0 by the numbers. Let's start with $85 billion. That's the total addressable market for servers, storage, and network sales in the data center each year. $5 billion. That's the amount of revenue Cisco realizes out of the data center each year, growing to about $10 billion over the next four to five years, while at the same time creating an incremental $4 billion, or 40% of that total, for our partners in the form of in increased services and new services opportunities. Why? Because data centers last about 10 to 15 years. That's what we expect the depreciation or capitalization cycle of that data center. However, they're really only lasting about five years. That's how quickly IT assets are obsoleting that data center infrastructure. Why? Because server capacity has grown about 750 times during that life cycle of the facility, while cooling capacity has only grown in efficiency about 64 times, a disparity of around 11.6x, 11, 11 according to the Uptime Institute. As an example, a 10 megawatt data center might cost you around $200 million fully loaded. With our unified fabric technologies, we've been able to prove that with a flat power budget, we can improve the server workload density by 30%. 30% more workload on a given facility means with a 12 to 15% compound annual growth rate of servers, that facility will last you 40% longer, going from five years to seven years, as an example. That will save you $60 million based on capital or cost of capital and deferred operational expense, extending the life cycle of the assets you already have. That's critical in today's economy because the average CIO is in the role for about 30 months. So we need a 9 to 18 month ROI on new projects in order to substantiate the value of the project for the business. We have another set of numbers that are valuable in this. Those numbers a Nexus 7000, 5000, and 1000. The MDS 9000 series, the Catalyst 6500, 4900, and 3100. A series of numbers designed to extend the life cycle of capital assets and reduce the operational expense required to support these infrastructures. Thank you.